Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Unfortunately today when I was importing all of the footage from my camera to my computer, I lost quite a lot of the clips. I don't know what happened, they were either like corrupted or something went wrong, but I lost like a whole chunk of my video. So it was like me getting home from a workout, filming, making my breakfast and explaining like what I was getting up to for the weekend and a little like challenge thing that I'm doing at the moment where I'm not drinking for a couple of weeks. So all of that is missing. Oh, and also explaining that I was working on Saturday, which I don't normally work on weekends. So I was like just chatting about loads of stuff, doing my makeup, having a fat old time and that's all gone now. So if parts of the video don't make sense, that is why. But I hope it's still good. I hope you enjoy. And yeah, this is just like a little weekend vlog. I didn't do anything too exciting, but just brought my camera along with me. So I hope you enjoy. Heading off to work now. Actually, I'll show you guys my outfit because I know people like to see that stuff apparently. So this, is what I'm wearing. This dress is literally just from Target. Same with this little belt. And this bag is from Lou and Hyde, but I'm off now. Check in with you guys again soon. I'm actually just gonna pack a snack to bring with me. My friend Christina Harvey sent me these the other day. There was Biscoff flavor as well, but I've already eaten those. Um, but this Oreo protein ball is the one that's gonna be coming with me. But there's also apricot white chocolate, berry chocolate, fruit choc, and mint choc chip. So yeah, bringing this Oreo one with me as a snack. Maybe I've been going nowhere lately. It's time to start all over and go for it. Cause they don't even, they don't even know. As you guys would have just seen, I had the best lunch. That is one of my favorite takeaway lunches ever. I was gonna go for a swim at the beach, but it's actually really windy and like, I like when the beach just looks like you want to jump into it, if that makes sense. Um, and it's now two o'clock, so I was going to get a cold brew before I drive home, but now I'm thinking maybe I will get an iced chai latte. I've had a thing for chai lattes lately, but I've never had an iced one, and it's too hot to get a warm one, but it's too late in the day for me to have a coffee or I won't sleep tonight. Stay tuned. I'll be back soon with some kind of iced beverage. Okay, so plot twist, I ordered an iced dirty chai, but I just got an iced chai. So maybe those people in the cafe knew that I didn't need the shot of coffee. Okay, well anyway, I've got an iced chai latte on oat milk. It's fabulous. Actually, random pet peeve of mine is when you go to cafes and they put the iced drinks in the hot drink cups. Someone tell me what that's about. Because when I get cold brew from this same cafe, it comes in the cold cup. But when I get like iced coffee or iced chai, hot cup. We'll never understand. Anyway, I am going to drive home now, drink this on the way. Not really sure what I'll get up to for the rest of the afternoon, but whatever it is, I'm sure I will share. Okay, so I am back home now and we sold the house at the auction that I went to so I am just making up an Instagram post now so that I can post that on the social media for work and then I don't really know what I'm gonna do next it is so hot here and I'm regretting not going for a swim at the beach it wasn't this hot there I swear Also, I don't know if it was the chai or something in my lunch, but I am, I'm so bloated, so uncomfortable. I feel like I might just go and lay down for a while, to be honest. I might read my book actually, because my last book, I read it in like three days. And if you know me, I'm not a reader. It normally takes me like six months probably longer to read a book and the last one I read was so good I finished it in three days and so I felt like I was on a roll and I was going to become a reader but this last one's maybe taken me like a month to read I'm almost finished it and it is really good I'm just not as committed to reading it as I was the last one but I might go and get changed out of this dress because it's so hot and just lay down and read for a while and hopefully 
relaxing will help my bloat go away. I've changed my mind about the reading because I went into my wardrobe to get changed and I remembered something that I told myself I would do this weekend. So please don't judge me, but I am going to show you guys inside my wardrobe and like what I'm planning to do. So let me just turn on the light. Excuse. This is stuff I need to put away. Okay. So this section here is like my jumpers and stuff. So I'm thinking now that it's warmer weather, I want to take all of them and move them up to like, wow, this is really a mess, but I want to move those up into like behind here. So where my shoes are, there's like a big gap up in behind there. So I'm thinking to move all my jumpers up in there where I won't need them. And like maybe even some of my knits and stuff as well. And I can spread all of that out so I can actually see it. And then I have like all of my oversized gym tees hung up here, but I want to hang up my other gym tops as well. Cause I can never see them or get to them. This is like <laughs> my current active wear situation down here. So I really want to like tidy all of that up, get this looking better. So I'm going to spend some time doing this now. I will let you guys know the outcome. Three hours later. So it is now 10 to six. I have literally been doing my wardrobe for almost three hours. It's definitely not how I wanted it to look. It hasn't turned out how I hoped but it's better. I packed away most of my winter stuff, but when we built this house, we decided not to get any of the wardrobes fitted out so that we could do them ourselves. But then we've only done our walk-in wardrobes and none of our spare rooms have even like the hanging rail in them. So literally everything just has to go in here because I have nowhere else to hang it or shelves to put it. So I've packed away all of like my jumpers, my jeans that were hanging up. I've folded them up on a shelf. Um, I'll just show you. So down here before was like all of my jackets and jumpers. I still have just like a couple of little jackets and two sweaters there, but then this is now all of my gym tops and oversized gym tees. And then this part here still stresses me out. There's too much going on there, but I can't part with anything. And then, well, same with this area here. Um, and then that's just like denim shorts, all of my shorts. So the other thing is I don't have any chest of drawers. Like I hate drawers. I like to have everything hanging up so that I can see it. Um, so this is like literally everything. There's nothing that's packed away. Um, what was I saying? <laughs> oh yeah. So that's like all that done. And then I tried to shove some of my jackets up there, but because all of the jackets are on these wooden hangers, they didn't fit up past this part here. So like that part's all, it's just all really like crammed in and I don't love that. But anyway, I also tidied up this, which is my active wear, like tights. And I put some jumpers in there and the sports bras and I'm feeling much better about that now. So it's still not ideal. I still, <laughs> I feel like it looks very similar to when I started, but it's just like, same same but different really and yeah that's where I put my jeans up there so it is so hot I was literally sweating in there I had to turn on our bedroom air conditioner and now I don't want to leave the bedroom because it's just so hot out there um but I don't know what we will have for dinner tonight we have leftover spaghetti bolognese from last night but we will need to cook pasta to go with that and I'll show you guys whatever we end up having um this would have been the perfect afternoon to be having a Bev on the back deck, but because I'm not drinking alcohol at the moment, it's probably just going to be kombucha or like a Nexpa creaming soda. I'm obsessed with those. Um, but also tonight we'll probably be watching the new season of You. Let me know in the comments below. We really liked the first two seasons, but we feel like this season is just really weird and like it's a weird show anyway, but... I don't know, something about this one is like in the first two, there was kind of a reason for why everything was happening. But this one's just like everyone that comes in their path is killed. I don't know. It just seems a bit much. But yeah, let me know in the comments below if you have watched all the seasons of you, if you thought this one wasn't as good as the others. When a million things are running through Million things I can't undo I just sleep, walk, I just sleep, talk That's all I got What can I say with a million things I can't erase Million people I can't save I just sleep, walk, I just sleep, talk Don't wanna wake up
I get my hopes up every time And I don't wanna be, be let down each row to find I just wish I'd seen Good morning guys, it is now Sunday morning. I have just finished getting ready for the day because I'm going to the beach with some friends, but I'm about to make some breakfast. I'm gonna have the same breakfast that I had yesterday, but today I'm gonna make the smoothie mango flavor. And I've been wanting to film this mango hack for reels on Instagram for a while. So I thought I would show you guys the hack at the same time I'm filming it for reels. So I don't have to open up. And you don't have to lose my trust. So I am heading off now. I am gonna bring my camera with me, but as always, it's kind of like a little bit awkward filming around other people. Um, so I'll bring my camera with me, but I'm not sure what footage I will get from the day. Um, hang on, just getting my shoes on. from the beach now we had the nicest day but i'm about to jump in the car and go and do the grocery shopping there's absolutely no way that i'm bringing my camera into the shops to film um, but i will do like a little grocery haul when i get back home okay so i've just got home from grocery shopping and i thought i would give you guys a quick haul of what i got um there's some frozen stuff in here somewhere so i might start with that i got these which I have never tried before. I got cheese for Sam lunches and I got this dairy-free cheese for me because we are actually having burgers tonight and I'm trying to be dairy-free again because I really think that's what it is that disagrees with me. Um, so I got that for me. I haven't tried that one before, so we'll see how that goes. Natural coconut yogurt. This is the brand I always get, but I normally get the vanilla flavored one, but I want to have this for more savory stuff as well. So I got the natural one of that. Plain Greek yogurt, which is for Sam. He has that for breakfast. Some soda water because I love drinking this. Just regular milk that Sam has in his coffees. Got some Nutalex. I don't eat butter very often, but just in case I do want to have it, I will have this instead. Then I just got a couple of tins of chili tuna that I will eat in my lunches. Some smoked salmon. I have been obsessed with smoked salmon at the moment. Diet ginger beer. I don't know why, but when I went to get the soda water, I just saw this there and was like, wow, I need 
that this afternoon so i'm gonna put one of these in the fridge right now avocados because they are so cheap at the moment and a piece of pumpkin i'm not really sure what i'm doing with this yet i just love pumpkin so much mandarins oh my gosh i am so excited for this they had um white peaches which are my favorite stone fruit they were so freaking expensive so i only got two or did i get three I got three um but i'm gonna make peach and pistachio overnight oats for tomorrow yum Anna's. and then we just got some salad mix and some mini cucumbers and tomatoes which we have in our poke bowls and then i just got this frozen fruit mix i love this one because it has frozen grapes in it and if you've never tried frozen grapes before you are seriously missing out um, and I got these sweet potato fries. If you're too lazy to make your own, these particular ones are elite. They are rosemary and garlic. So, so good. We're having fish burgers for dinner tonight. I think I already said that. So I also just got some red rolls. I got these little seaweed things and some rice because on the days when I have the tins of tuna, I'm going to try that um, TikTok rice bowl thing that's everywhere with the rice and the mayo and the... You know, you know the drill. If you know, you know. Um, and then some apples, roasted sesame salad, which I'm going to have with the smoked salmon for my lunches. My friends that I went to the beach with today, they were raving about this salad. So hopefully it lives up to their recommendation. I'll let you guys know if I like it. Kale slaw, which is what we put in our poke bowls as well. Ham, which is also for Sam's wraps. Muesli that he eats with the yogurt for breakfast. Rice for the poke bowl. Got this. Um, dairy free white chocolate because I want to make white chocolate cranberry cookies so I might do that this afternoon actually eggs because we're all out chocolate bars for Sam because he literally eats a chocolate bar every single day so that is the grocery haul um, I am going to make these cookies now so I might do a little filming of that and we'll see how they turn out Actually, I've changed my mind. I am not gonna make the cookies this afternoon because I told myself I was going to relax. And let me just set the scene for you guys. You know, when you've been out in the sun all day, I call this sun struggle, but like you're kind of struggling, but you're also having a great time. So you've got sun struggle, right? You come home, you're like a little bit sun kissed, you have a shower, you wash your hair, you moisturize literally everything. Maybe you even put on a face mask, a hair treatment, something like that. You put the air conditioner on, which I've already done. I've got the back doors closed. I'm good to go. You sit down, specifically in like December, this is even more relevant. You watch a Christmas movie. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Is there actually any better feeling than that shower after the beach? Oh my gosh. This product here from Esme, as soon as I got it in, I was like, this is made for the sun struggle days. It's called Refreshing and Hydrating Skin Snack Face Mist. Oh my God. You probably don't need that much, but it just feels so good. Mm, phenomenal. This is also a really good time, the Pineapple Breeze Balm Moisturizer. It smells kind of like a pina colada if you want to smell like you're on a holiday. I actually even had a lady in Coles once. I walked past her and she stopped me and she was like, is that you that smells like a, like a drink? And I was like, yeah, that's me. I am a walking pina colada. So, so good. Like actually probably the best moisturizer I've ever, ever tried. I love it. I feel good. In case you guys hadn't noticed, I literally thrive on this little whatever we're calling it, sun struggle routine. <laughs> it's what my dreams are made of. I've got Netflix on, but I am going to do some baking. I'm going to make the white chocolate cranberry cookies. So we'll see how they turn out. This is an experiment recipe that I haven't made before. So yeah, we'll see how they go.
these turned out so good. I've obviously already eaten one, but I'll be putting up the recipe for these on my Instagram page very soon. So by the time this video is up, this recipe will definitely be over on my page. So I've actually just started making my breakfast for tomorrow and then I realized I probably should show you guys what I'm making. So like I said before in the grocery haul, I'm doing peach and pistachio overnight oats. So I'll put the camera down so you can see. In here so far, I've got my scoop of vanilla protein powder, um, a third of a cup of oats, and then I just do one teaspoon of chia seeds. I always use water um, instead of milk because I just find with the protein powder, it's already creamy enough. So I usually just start with a third of a cup or however much oats I put, I put the same amount of water to start off with and then I mix it and then I will add more as I go because I like thick oats. There is nothing worse than watery oats. Ugh, I just cannot stand it. It has to be thick like glue. So that's ended up being two thirds of a cup now. That will probably be it. It will absorb overnight and be thick in the morning. I wasn't sure if I should put in the pistachios now because like, will they go soggy overnight? I've, true, true story here, people. I've never put nuts in my overnight oats before. Um, I might just put them in and then if they go soggy, we will know for next time. You live and you learn. That's it. That's all we can say here. Um, so I'm just going to do, oh, I don't really want like a handful. I just kind of wanted like, let's say it's like a tablespoon of pistachios going in there. And obviously I'll have to take a photo in the morning for the gram. So I'll put more on top then. And then I'm going to cut up one peach and put it like through it. Oh my gosh, I have missed stone fruits. Honestly, everything about summer is just, it really just hits different, doesn't it? In case you can't tell, I'm in such a good mood today. After spending the day at the beach in the sun, it was really just like an actual perfect day. So this is my bowl of mess, but we've got some pistachios in there and the peach. So I'll mix this around, cover it over, and it'll set in the fridge overnight and in the morning I'll put more peach on top and some more pistachios. I get my hopes up every time And I don't wanna be Be let down neutral to find I just wish I'd seen the price tag for my heart breaking Was it worth all that waiting when I always knew just how I felt? It is now Monday morning and I am just about to start working from home for the day but I thought before I did I would wrap up this video Thank you so, so much for watching. I still have no clue what I am doing on YouTube, but I am trying. I am going to attempt to upload one new video a month. If I have extra time, I will try and do more, but for now, I'm just gonna commit to one a month. Um, so yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss my next video, and I'll see you next time.